What's up guys? I hope you can hear me okay over the pool pump running here. Uh, wanted to make a quick uh, kind of testimonial, uh, journaling, documenting um, the life of this above ground pool because it really does amaze me. <clears throat> so I'm about to be 36 years old next month guys. I had my 12th birthday party in this pool as it sets right here. Um, and you know the craziest thing about that is I think I had this pool my parents had this pool here when I was 11, maybe even 10. Um, so that's at least, you know, at least 25. This pool's at least a quarter of a century old and my parents bought it used. I'm not sure how used it was, a couple years probably, maybe a little more. So they actually had to drive about 10 miles up the road and take this pool down, take it apart, bring it here and somehow it's still standing yes it's barely still standing um, you can see the walls are extremely bowed we've been saying for about three years in a row this is probably going to be our last year it's on its uh fourth liner but one of those liners was just because we didn't realize that you couldn't drain it pretty much all the way or the liner would shrink so it was our mistake um yeah but Guys, I, don't, I hope they still make them like this because this is just crazy to me. Um, so, why is it really on its last leg? Well, you see that pool deck we built over there. Instead of, I'll show you, instead of cutting the deck back right here, we overhung the deck over the edge of the pool, which was cool, except that over many, many years, this deck settled and it settled on top of the pool and it was starting to push um, it was starting to collapse the walls so I had to get in and jack the deck up with a hydraulic jack take pressure off the walls hopefully buying us some more time uh, you can see right here um, the wall is pretty distorted and in places the wall has actually rusted out so much um, water will come through if, if water gets behind the liner um, but the, the only real issue, and we thought we were done when this happened, is this just disintegrated away enough to where you couldn't put the water inlet in right here. It, would, it wouldn't seal, it just leaked. And so we really thought we were pretty much done with the pool. And uh, then I just had the bright idea, why do we even need to do that? So now we just throw the hose over the edge. And that, you see that's not screwed down. We just throw the pool over the edge throw the hose over the edge and it just works like that and we've got by two more years with that because guys when my parents bought this pool 25 years ago they bought it used for 250 dollars but a pool of this size now um i think it's probably around seven to ten thousand dollars which is crazy because there's really nothing to these things um a new liner for this i might add is right at three to four hundred dollars that was before covid so I'm maybe a little more now uh, all right, so let's talk about why I think this pool has lasted so long. Well, I think a lot of it has to be that this pool is partially in the ground. The pool's about halfway in the ground on the front and a little less in the back. And that's mostly because we had to dig out a hole in the front because the yard wasn't perfectly level. So, you know, there's about six inches of the pool underground here and about two feet of the pool underground there. And I think that has been imperative in supporting the outer edges of the pool. So yeah, guys, we played we played games and, and volleyball and stuff in this pool. And every time the ball comes out, somebody's, you know, vaulting over the side of the pool um, to get the ball because it's way quicker than going out the steps. Um, I mean, I've done it, I'm 210 pounds. That's been done thousands upon thousands of times by hundreds of people over the last 25 years and these walls are still standing i cringe a little bit every time we do it now because i know we're we're really on borrowed time but uh yeah so i really think burying it helped a lot i think when we do replace this in the next couple years um i think we'll probably if this deck is still usable we'll cut it back and we may even dig out a little more to get the next one even a little more so underground if we can. Um, but I don't know guys, maybe some of you guys can tell me if they still build them, if they're this good a quality, um, if they're better quality, I really don't know. Uh, 
bunch of holes over here that I've sealed with tape um, because when water gets behind the liner sometimes it just pops out those holes which you know I don't know you can see been hit with the weed eater some so all right guys I just wanted there's there's not a whole lot of testimonials out there uh, like this I don't think a whole lot of people have had the same pool in their yard for a quarter century uh, at least not an above ground pool so I don't know thought you guys might find that interesting somebody there on the internet somewhere in the world wide web so uh appreciate you taking the time to watch this and uh i'll see you in the next video